guys, what's up? How are y'all doing? I hope that you are doing absolutely amazing. Um, my name is Nicole Andrusco, and I welcome you to my first content video on my YouTube channel. So as you can see in the title, I decided to create a YouTube video about New Year's resolutions. I figured, well, it's January, it's the first month of the new year, and also the first month of a new decade. Now, before in previous years, so I'm kind of going to discuss how I thought about New Year's resolutions before. Um, in previous years, I really didn't really care about New Year's resolutions. I didn't really put too much thought into them. And I feel like I kind of just had a negative pessimistic mindset when it came to making those new year's goals and it's because i just didn't really see a whole lot of change before i always kind of thought well what change could happen this year in comparison to the previous year so i didn't really bother with making any new year's goals and i was kind of annoyed when other people did as well i just thought that it was just something everybody did and it was kind of cheesy but this year 2020, starting 2020, has really made me want to look back on previous year 2019 because 2019 was the year of change for me. And it really, I just want to self reflect on that year as well as the past several years to really help me to understand the person I am today versus the person I was before. And it really inspired me because I've noticed that I've seen a lot of growth, not just with myself and the way I've gone about things in my life, but I've also seen a lot of growth and improvement and maturity with the people that are in my life as well. And so that inspired me to really think about creating some new New Year's resolutions that will allow me to continue to progress and grow and change in the direction where I'm supposed to be headed. Now, that being said, when I thought of creating a YouTube video for this, I didn't just want to create a video about my New Year's resolutions. I wanted to make this about you guys too. So I decided to purposefully come up with seven New Year's resolutions that we all can relate to and we all can follow, no matter what age we are, no matter what place we are in our life, and no matter what our goals are. Um, now, when I came up with these New Year's re resolutions, I also wanted to encourage you guys, when you come up with your own resolutions, to not just think about things that you wanna get, for example, some people's resolutions are to get that new job or a job promotion or to get that dream car or to get into a relationship with that special someone. And those are all great goals and dreams to make for the new year. But I really want us to focus our New Year's resolutions on being rather than getting. Um, because when you really focus on goals and resolutions to help yourself grow as a person, to help yourself be the most genuine, authentic person you can be, and to really just improve the way you act towards others, that will help you in return to gain the achievements and specific goals you want to achieve, as well as really having some more self-awareness and improving who you are and bettering who you are as a person. So without further ado, <laughs> kind of a long explanation, let me get into those seven New Year's resolutions that I think we all should have. So my first New Year's resolution, and forgive me, I'm kind of I'm looking at the board over there because I wrote them down, my memory sucks. Um, the first one is to embrace the journey and not just the destination. Now, what I mean by that is we all have some type of goal and some kind of dream we want to follow, whether that's a long-term goal or a short-term goal. And I feel like sometimes we as human beings get so wrapped up in what we want to achieve for ourselves rather than just really taking a step back and learning to appreciate and enjoy the steps that we are actively taking in order for those dreams to become possible. Now, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a backstory about my experience and how I personally relate to this resolution. 
Now, I graduated from college about two years ago with a degree in secondary education as well as a degree in English because I wanted to teach language arts for grades 6 through 12. Now, I didn't have a problem finding a teaching career right outside of college. However, the first couple teaching experiences I had were very discouraging to say the least. I felt like I was placed into environments where I couldn't truly thrive as an educator because of certain circumstances involved. And so right now I'm kind of in this season of waiting because I decided that it'd be best for me to take a year off to just focus on myself, focus on my marriage and to focus on what I want because even though I don't want to give up on my dream, I really just need to take that mental break. And even though it's benefited me in a lot of ways, it's also caused me to have a little bit of anxiety and to have a little bit of a sense of uncertainty as to what's going to happen as far as my career goes with teaching. And so I was talking to my husband, Chris, about this. And even though he's only turning 29, I swear he's wise beyond his years. Um, he told me, he's like, you know what, Nicole, everybody has a destination. Everybody has something they want to achieve. But once we achieve that one thing, it's never good enough for us. We as human beings, we continuously want more and more and more. But if you decide to focus on your journey rather than the destination, you're going to find yourself being much more satisfied and happy. Because if you think about it, it's the obstacles and the hurdles and the challenges you go through and overcome on the way to getting to where you want to be that are, those are the things that help you to grow. Those are the things that help you to see progress in your life. And that's that's the journey, it's the adventure, it's the excitement that is within that those steps that you take. So it really made me think like, wow, even though I'm in a season of waiting, I'm exactly where I need to be at this specific moment in time. And I should be proud of myself for taking those necessary steps to get to where I need to be. And so I really want, encur want to encourage you guys to do that. I really want to encourage you to not feel discouraged and to just enjoy the moment, enjoy what you're doing in order to improve yourself and to improve your situations. That way you can achieve the goals you want to achieve. So that kind of leads into, leads into my second New Year's resolution, which is to stop worrying about the future. Um, I find myself doing this as well. Sometimes we focus so much on what we want so badly that we forget to really just be present in the moment and we tend to worry too much about what the future has in store and i want to start off with a bible verse um, that i'm really passionate about to help you guys with that resolution so the verse is this i'm just going to read it to you really quickly um, and i will have it appear on the screen as well so you guys can see it the verse is proverbs 3 5 through 6 and it reads trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight so what i take from this verse is that we as human beings are not built to be able to deal with all our struggles on our own okay we are meant to leave our burdens our insecurities our worries and our doubts at the feet of our Lord because he's the only one who truly knows a path we should take and truly knows our purpose. So just learning to trust in him and to pray to him and to believe in him will really help you guys to understand not only what that purpose is, will help you get there in a quicker amount of time. Um, and when it says that verse says we cannot lean on our own understanding, sometimes we don't even understand what path we're supposed to go down. But that is why we need God to help us um, on that journey. So please don't fret if you guys, if things aren't going as you had planned as far as your dreams go. Just as long as you're working hard to improve yourself as a person, working hard to get where you need to be, 
God will always have your back. Um, now, the third New Year's resolution I want to talk about is, it's called Count Your Blessings. And I feel like that is one that really relates to the last two resolutions I just discussed with you guys. And what I mean by count your blessings is to, instead of always focusing on what we want, you know, because we always, once we have something we want, we want more, 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 and the cycle never ends, is to really just sit back and be present and in the moment and embrace the simple joys in our lives. And I know I have fallen into that. Um, sometimes it's hard for me to really focus on the present when there's so many things I want for the future. Like I want to be able to buy my dream house, with my husband, and because it's not happening right away, sometimes I get a little bit anxious, but then I realize, you know what? I need to start focusing on the things in my life that make me feel enriched and loved and satisfied because buying that dream house or that next materialistic thing isn't what's going to make you truly happy. I decided I decided to focus on the fact that, you know what, I have family on both sides, my husband and I who love and support us in our, in our marriage. I have just an amazing, close-knit, tight group of friends who really, we just, as strong women, we really encourage each other, we lift each other up and support each other. And I feel like that's all something that we need. I also have a wonderful, amazing husband who loves me unconditionally and who I know I can trust my life with because he's my rock. I also have a roof over my head. I'm educated. I have a job. And so even though those all might not seem like huge things, like probably a lot of you have those things already, they really are truly what make us rich. That's what makes us rich. It's not the the monetary things, the materialistic things we can gain. It's not those specific achievements and goals. And learning to focus on those things I already have, it helped me take more appreciation in just the simpler things in life. Like the fact that I get to wake up in the morning, take a nice hot steamy shower to relax my muscles and to wake me up so I can prepare for the day ahead. Also, just on a warm spring day, which Hmm, I live in Illinois, it's, you know, spring weather isn't coming anytime soon, honey. But <laughs> the fact that on a warm spring day when I am outside and I get to look at the beautiful sunset, all the colors, and just appreciate God's glory and his wonderful creation, just looking at those simple things and taking gratitude with, feeling gratitude with those, it really just helps you to get into a much better headspace. It helps you have much more of a positive mindset and encourages you and motivates you to continue going day by day and to continue trying to work your hardest to get to where you need to be. Now, my fourth New Year's resolution is to pursue your passions and interests. Now, I want to preface this res resolution by saying I completely understand that a lot of you are watching this video probably do not feel like you have the time for that, especially if you work a full-time job. If you're in a relationship or you're married, of course, you have to dedicate time out of your life to that special someone. Or maybe you have a huge responsibility with your family. Maybe you have familial obligations. But I want to tell you guys this, as long as you take out just a little bit of time each and every day, whenever you have free time to really pursue what makes you happy, what makes you feel passionate, that's going to help you feel so much more fulfilled and satisfied with your life. For example, I'm a lazy butt. Like, I'm just going to be real with y'all. Like, I had two two weeks off for winter break. And I decided, okay, I'm going to start uploading a YouTube, my YouTube videos. I'm going to start my YouTube channel. Because this is something I've been inspired to do for a long time. But you know what I did instead? I decided to sit my butt on the couch, drink hot chocolate, watch YouTube videos, and binge watch Netflix. And while that's not something to be ashamed of... I definitely wasn't being productive. I wasn't trying to pursue my interests. And now today, snowy outside, so of course I didn't have a choice but to stay indoors. I decided to utilize this time to really focus on building my YouTube channel since that's an interest. And already I start to feel better. So please, please, even if you can only take a little bit out of your time your day, do it. If, let's say, for example, your interest is reading. 
just taking 15, 20 minutes out of your night before you go to bed to read a chapter or two, or your interest is singing, maybe start singing in the shower. This will help you guys to grow your identity because you may be a mom or a husband or a wife or a father or a teacher, a doctor, a, you know, whatever. Those things do make up a part of who you are, but they're not entirely who you are. So really do things that you love, do things that are passion, passionate, it will really help your, rise your spirits and help you to form your complete identity. My fifth New Year's resolution is stop playing the comparison game. And I know this is really hard to do and I really want to create a YouTube video about this separately on my channel, um, especially with social media and technology. We see people portraying the best images of themselves, the best versions of themselves. We see people going on fancy vacations or showing off their their new family or, you know, Instagram models showing off their bodies and the way they look. And I just want to let you guys know that that's not realistic. People only put the best versions of themselves on social media. You don't get to see what's behind closed doors and the struggles that they're really dealing with. Um, so please don't play the comparison game. Everybody has different situations. And no matter how good someone else has it, every single person has flaws. Every single person has something that they're dealing with. And just... Continue to look at your own goals and what you want to achieve for yourselves and stop worrying about other people because it's not going to help you. It's only going to keep you from doing what you need to do in order to grow. My sixth New Year's resolution is to learn to cut out toxic people. Now, <laughs> toxic people um, are people who hold you back people who only bring negativity into your life and who make you feel like you're less than and just really just make you feel crappy about yourself. Now, I'm going to share with you guys a brief story. I also want to include a bigger video on my channel about how to cut out toxic people such as toxic relationships and friendships because I've had my fair share of both, let me tell you. Um, but one story I want to share with you guys is the story about my matron of honor for my wedding. Now, I just got married in October, so just three months ago, and I had my maid of honor, who's my best friend, Danielle, but I also had my matron of honor, who was another friend of mine that was married. And I'm not going to share her name because I want to protect her identity. But basically, I kind of noticed over the years that whenever I hung out with her, I had an overwhelming amount of negative emotions. She was never one to really bring me up. Only if I was suffering would she try to make me feel good, but it's only probably because it made her feel better too because she was suffering with things as well. Um, she would say a lot of nasty things to me. She would ghost me sometimes for no reason and really just mistreat me and it got to a point where after I asked her to be the matron of honor for my wedding she tried to make things about herself seemed very bothered if I asked her to do certain things even though for most people if they really cared about their friends they see it as an honor if their friend asked them to be a part of their special day so I decided to do the hard thing it was hard because we'd known each other since high school I decided to cut her out and even though it was difficult at first because I truly cared about her, um, it allowed me to have more room to invite new people into my life and to form new friendships with people who were positive, who were spiritual, who helped me grow and added some true value and, and you know, just added so much beauty to my life and it really allowed me to try and grow the friendships I already had with other amazing friends that were in my life. So that is the next New Year's resolution I want to talk about with you guys. Now the last one is to learn to love better. <laughs> Um, even though you may be really good at trying to show your love to others and your, your family and your friends, I think that this is something we could all work on because there does get to be a point in our lives when we all tend to 
focus on what's going on in our situations and things that we're going through rather than truly focusing on what other people are going through. I, for one, really find that focusing in on someone else's problems, like my friends, if they come and confide in me and just allowing myself to listen to them and to give them helpful advice, it really helps me to not only feel good that I'm contributing to someone else that I care about and trying to help them, but makes me feel good about myself and makes me realize, huh, there's some truth to that advice that I'm giving them. Maybe I need to listen to that advice myself and learn to love myself better, you know? And even if helping others learn to love better is just, you know, participating in more community service or, you know, if you go to church, getting more involved in your church like I have over the past year, I think that will really help you guys to learn to love other people better because unfortunately we live in a world and a society in which a lot of horrible things are happening. I mean, look at the the fires that are happening all over the place, the wildfires, the, you know, the tension between different countries, the violence and crime in our own country. We just all desperately need to show love towards each other and acceptance. Um, so that is it for you guys. Those are the seven New Year's resolutions that I want to talk about you with you just so we can try and help each other better ourselves and be there for each other. My purpose is to be raw, relatable, and real. So that way I can create, we can create a positive community and a wonderful family full of people who are inspired to not just better themselves, but to become a positive influence in each other's lives and to help others who may not have a voice or who are experiencing loss and tragedy. So please, if you like the content I put up on this video and the purpose purpose and meaning behind my videos, please, please, please like down below, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel so that you can see further videos. Also, please share my video with as many people as you possibly can so that way we can work together as a team to make a larger impact and to create a difference in other people's lives. Stay you, stay beautiful, and stay kind. I will see you guys next time. Bye.